What is going on? How my Patriots doing? Welcome to another edition of Joe's News and Views. Also, Conservative News and Views, which I am coming at you with a uh, quick tidbit of some information that was released. A couple of, uh, you know, news reports that I want to give y'all today. Since right now I got a lot of times on my hands. Uh, while I'm in search for employment. But I want to say everybody that has been supporting you, me, I appreciate y'all. God knows I do. I do appreciate y'all to the max. I'm definitely going to continue to do what I do best. That is to give you great content and also to make sure you are aware of what's going on. So today's content we're going to talk about uh, two things. And while you're at it, coming in, please hit that like button. All right. And please hit that notification bell up top. And please like and share. Please like and share. All right. Now, with this. So, yesterday... Uh, President, I mean, uh, Governor uh, Candidate uh, Alan West, and by the way, y'all, that's on my channel, get these haters off already. You got one already on there talking about President Trump. You got time for it. You know how these um, bozos are. They always want some attention. So if y'all can, go ahead on and mute that for me. In fact, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block the user for y'all. There you go. Have a good day. Oh, man. Check ass, man. You, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't make this up. I think it's already been blocked. Fantastic. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, and we got a lot of people here tonight, which is good. That is awesome. I like to see it. Uh, Alan West's uh, wife, which I'm about to bring to life and information right here was arrested last night after uh, allegedly with DWI with the grandkids. Now this is what the press release was saying. The wife of Republican uh, Texas uh, supranational candidate uh, thank you brother Google national candidate uh, Alan West was arrested. I mean, excuse me, the wife of Republican Texas Google national notorial uh, candidate Alan West was released Saturday after being arrested on Friday night for allegedly driving while intoxicated with a young grandson in the car. Now, West uh, tweeted out an update late Saturday afternoon saying his wife, Angela, was released and thanked his followers for the many messages with support and prayers. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more of the story and I'm going to let um, Alan West play a video that he was talking about on Twitter and I'll give you all my thoughts on this. Now, West's wife was stopped by a Dallas officer assigned with the DWI squad for a traffic violation before 8.45 p.m. Friday. The officers suspected West was intoxicated and performed a field sobriety test on her. Now, after the field test, West was taken into custody and charged with driving while intoxicated with a child under 15 years old. The Dallas uh, Police Department told Fox News. Now, West's infant grandson, Jackson, was released to a family member after his grandmother's arrest and the arrest really uh ticked off miss uh mr allen west in fact so much i'm about to play a clip of what he said let me go ahead on and pause this music so y'all can hear what he said Hey, hey, greetings, greetings everyone. everyone. This is Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, and I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm highly pissed off right now. 
It's a little bit about 3 o'clock in the morning. I was down in Waco, Texas, having dinner with Ted Nugent and some other people. And I got back to Dallas to find out that someone had arrested my wife, Angela, when she had my grandson, Jackson, in the backseat of the car and charged her with, quote, unquote, suspected DUI. And now I'm down here at the Dallas County Jail. They won't allow me to see Angela. They're saying that there's nothing I can do. They will not allow me to see a supervisor. Angela and I've talked to people that had dinner with her at P.F. Chang's here in Dallas. She had water and lemonade. But the thing that upsets me the most is that they took my wife, arrested her in water and left my grandson with two Dallas police officers. Luckily, they were able to get in contact with our youngest daughter, Austin, who was able to go and pick up Jackson from two police officers on the side of the road. This is crap. No, I support the thin blue line, but this is insidious. They put my grandson at risk, at jeopardy, left him with a couple of police officers, and carted his grandmother in jail when she had water and lemonade. That's what witnesses said. They were with her at water and lemonade for dinner. I'm, I'm beyond, beyond living, and I'm, I'm telling you something. The Dallas County Sheriff's Office, the Dallas Police Chief, I want, I want an explanation. This. I want to know who arrested my wife for quote unquote suspected DUI when she had water and lemonade and her breathalyzer test came up negative. I am pissed. So you saw that, you heard that, and that's why everybody is going in on the situation. Because she was arrested and it came up that she was negative. Now, we all know that Dallas is uh, liberal, okay? Let me go put the music back on. We know that they're liberal, all right? And Governor Candidate uh, Alan West has Lieutenant Colonel Allen West has been the type of guy that never bit his tongue. Now, if he was told that she did not have a sobriety, that the sobriety test was negative, then why was she arrested of uh, when they say suspicion? I mean, usually if someone is passes the sobriety test, uh You know, and thank you, Jay Hayes, for doing that. Uh, something's not adding up to me. I think that this would, could be probably politically uh, motivated because if the witnesses said she only had lemonade and water, there could be more than one reason why she was tired. I mean, it's it was uh, the time again. Let me make sure I'm right. Because, you know, this is an older set of people. Alan West is long with my, my mother and my father's age, okay? They're born in their early 60s. Uh, late 50s. So, you know, he's an older gentleman, all right? Him and his wife. I mean, it ain't like, you know, Mr. West is this uh, young guy. So, to me, what I would what I would suspect that this could have been handled a whole lot different. I mean, she was pulled over at 845 at night. She could have been tired. Now, my thing is, I think it could be politically motivated. And he's definitely, he definitely deserves answers. They both do. Because if she passed that sobriety test, why did you take her in? That's the question. Now, shout out to Alan West how he handled it. Because he handled it like a G. Because he didn't, this is what we try to talk about. Especially when I talk to black people. Uh, to the black community. If you don't go and act the fool, start cussing out the cops and stuff, he did it the right way. He brought awareness. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is politically motivated. I mean, like I said, Dallas, Texas, which is a liberal city, they pulled this man and his wife over, pulled his wife over. She got arrested. They, she passed the sobriety test. There was no, she had only lemonade and water. She had got spent the night. I'm telling you, this is all politically game, man, uh, political game. Because it, it shocks me how quick they released this press-wise on her being a Republican's wife. 
but yet still when we have democrat leaders that get arrested that's not even running for governor they could be nominees running for uh senate or freaking uh a representative you don't even hear about that till like months later so to me this is politically motivated and i may be wrong but it 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 it, 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 it it's got to be because you don't see the Dallas police released a statement yet on why they arrest this woman and what grounds they had. Now, let's get back to the children. Now, I understand he was frustrated, but the children was in the hands of the police officers. So, uh, what's going on, Gabrielle? So, you know, she that wasn't in danger. Okay, they were fellow police officers. You know, they're professionals. They're gonna make sure the children are safe. So I gotta I gotta disagree with him on that. Now, was it an unfortunate situation by his wife getting hauled in? Yes. But the police had his children, and I'm quite sure they're not gonna let nothing happen to these kids because they don't want any lawsuits or lose their job. So I have to rock with no on that one. Because you know, I'm just critiquing the situation on the outside looking in. But do he have any right to be pissed? for what they did then he does now let's talk about the supervisor the supervisor was in should had should have gave uh lieutenant colonel uh alan west information on why he arrested his wife if she did not pass that sobriety test he should have told him i think she was woozy i think maybe she was on some medication i don't know What's going on? Email me later. But he should have been more thorough. So him not talking to uh, Lieutenant Colonel West, that lets me know right there that he, he's very disrespectful when it comes to talking to a citizen, especially a citizen of that caliber. This is this could be your future governor. Okay, this guy could have your damn job. So, you know, there's a respect factor there you should have fucking done. Let me talk to Mr. Allen West. Let me let him know why we went ahead and did this. And then after talking to him with some sense, maybe you could have let his wife go because now he's there at the station and that could have been that. Like I said, I feel like this is politically motivated. All right, so. Yeah, that's right. You are, you know, you you have the, they have the right. They are supposed to inform somebody of that caliber. They are, that's a courtesy. That's like the shit. I don't know who is over there, who's doing what over there in Dallas. But if that would have done, that would have happened in my small town of Wayne County, Georgia. Oh no, sir, you would have been fired. They don't play that, and it's a, and it's a red state. It's a red county too. That's that is a. A man of importance, you better have something. You better have something. Good shit, you better have a. You better have a good reason why. <laughs> they don't play down south over here like that. But yeah, man, this is this to me politically motivated. All right, we're gonna roll into the next uh, uh, situation here uh, that I wanted to discuss. It's about the Trump rally. Uh, give me one second here. Let me see if I can find uh, the rally. Of President Trump. And this was a good, I mean, man, this is a good piece that at Fox News. Uh, now, y'all all know that the only issue what's going on black sheep that everybody has with president trump is he's still out here promoting everyone to take the virus take the on oh, excuse me the vaccine and i get it guys i get it i'm with everybody on that i feel like that's a free will thing you should and i hate that he has to promote it but then as time went on i figured out why he's doing it because he's proud of the accomplishment that they put into finding the vaccine as fast as possible to try to curb some of 
the uh, rate of the corona uh, virus. But now with the new Delta variant, I'm quite sure he's trying to promote it more than ever because he still believes in a product that he put his time in to get researched and worked on. But again, like I said, I'm with the everybody else. I really take my chances and, and you know exercise, eat healthy, and go from there. But let's let's talk about what uh, Trump said at the rally about Biden. I'm not going to break this article down. Uh, read it in entirely. I'm just going to summarize it, and then I'm going to break it down, and then I'm going to wrap this on up. So uh, Trump targets Biden over the Afghanistan, but he got booed briefly on vaccines at the Alabama rally. All right. So now I'll give y'all a little quick highlight of when he takes the stage. Give me one second here. So he got a lot of good uh, wide reviews for that. For real. I mean, people love the fact that President Trump was attentive and doing what he had to do, trying to promote saving the nation. Now, They had some good speakers on there too. So anyway, let me sum this up right quick. So it what seemed like a preview of potential stump speech should former President Trump eventually follow through on his flirtations to launch a 2024 uh, White House bid. Now Trump once again took uh, to the stage, which I've seen earlier. I mean, excuse me, once again took aim at his successor on Saturday night. He said one year ago this month in my nomination speech, Trump told a large crowd of supporters at a large rally in Coleman, Alabama, harkening back to the 2020 uh, Republican uh, disaster. I was a Republican National uh, Convention address. He said, I warned the entire country of the disastrous uh, consequences of a Biden presidency, which he did. Now, Trump then blasted President Biden, criticizing him over the crime, inflation, and the haphazard uh, evacuation of the U.S. personnel and allies from Afghanistan after regret, repressive. Taliban forces rolled into Tab Kabul, Kabul, the uh, Central Asian country's capital and largest city. Now, if y'all want to see uh, President Trump's whole rally forward, look up Fox 10 in Alabama. Alabama Fox 10, and it should show the whole two hours of, of the whole rally. It, it was a beautiful rally. I wish I would have been there, but unfortunately, I couldn't. Now, he said this is a great stain on the reputation of our country, the former president charged. Now, Trump struck a deal with the Taliban in February of last year that called for all U.S. troops to depart Afghanistan by May 2021 20, and who, during his watch, 
reduced the U.S. forces to their lowest level in Afghanistan in two decades on Saturday, called the Taliban great negotiators tough fighters. And Trump also criticized Biden for failing to stop the virus as he pointed to the surge in the COVID cases due to the highly contagious Delta variant. Could you imagine if we were, if our president and the virus were surging back? The former president said before slamming Biden for reimposing mass mandates and threatening new restrictions. The then president handling of the coronavirus pandemic as it swept the nation last year was a key factor in Biden's victory over Trump in last November's election. While the former president's verbal attack on his successor were well received by the crowd as expected, Trump did counter push back with his advocate when he advocates for vaccine. I believe totally in your freedoms. I do. Uh, I do. You got to do what you got to do. But I recommend to take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Trump said a let me refuse from his support. That's okay. That's all right. The former president had it. But I happen to take the vaccine. If it doesn't work, you'll be the first to know. But if it is working, you do have your freedom. You have to maintain that. So that's really what that was to sum that up. So this is what my, my synopsis is. And what I'm starting to really think about this. Uh, so President Trump is probably going to run for president in 2024. If he do not, I would not be surprised that he may throw a monkey wrench and get his oldest son, uh, Junior, to run. I would not be surprised because Junior do got that fortitude about him just like his dad. And he is American pride. So either way it goes, one of those two things is going to happen. Now, do I feel like that people are getting by a remorse? Absolutely. You know they are. That's why people are not really talking about President uh, Biden like they used to. People are really starting to feel this. I made a mistake. Hey, granted, you got MS 13 NBC, like Joy Reid, that's going to keep lying and saying that you should be worried about the Delta variant, but it's not going to look at the big picture. Guys, listen. Uh, right now, the country is in a very, very bad state. We have nothing right now to show up here in the United States. We have a weak ass president, and we have other nations. Now, that I'm going to start questioning should they go and brought with us because of how we look out here in the front line. And when that start happening, I'm telling you now, we are vulnerable. We are vulnerable. I don't give a damn about all this woke shit and all these other people talking about we're fine and this, that. No, we're not. We're far from fine. And people are seeing the grass. And it is up to us at 2022. To get conservatives, not no rhinos, not no fucking uh, extra bookends. We need real conservatives with real value that value family, that value tradition, that value the importance of education and get our children, our nation on the right track. That's just facts. And y'all know I'm telling you. Either way it goes, y'all, this is your boy, uh, Joel Davis, a.k.a. I need y'all to get the comments. Tell me, what do y'all guys think? What needs to happen for us to get back on the right track? Do we need President Trump to run? Do we need Ron DeSantis to run? Or do we need uh, Donald Trump Jr. to run? I need y'all to get the comments and let me know what we need to get this nation back on track. And also, the Alan West situation. Do you think his wife really got arrested because of possible suspect of DWI? Or do you think it was politically motivated? Y'all just get the comments and tell me what y'all think about this uh, news that I just exposed to y'all. I will try to go on the night. I don't know if I can because my wife got me stretched out here behind me. I got a whole stuff, just a load of stuff on the bed, trying to clean out a closet. I will look that up. You ain't wrong. 
but y'all got to share man y'all got to share i got to get i mean if i do a big live i need some i need some monetary participation i don't know if y'all know anybody that's looking for real concrete news i need y'all to get in there because if i do one tonight it's probably gonna be about crime because you know i've been focusing on that very heavily so i need y'all to really go in so i love you guys take care of yourself and each other about to bounce